pharmacovigilance, these two terms are synonymous with each other. So never ever get confused between the same. So pharmacovigilance and drug safety, they both are same. Okay. In some companies, you will see positions like pharmacovigilance associate or pharmacovigilance specialist or like, you know, pharmacovigilance scientist. And in some other companies, you will uh, come across similar positions with names like drug safety associate, uh, drug safety scientist, like, you know, and drug safety specialist. So they are both same, you know, so pharmacovigilance associate and drug safety associate, they both do the same thing. So uh, this is something that you have to know that pharmacovigilance and drug safety, they are same. And Oracle Oracle Safety is a software which is being used by pharmaceutical companies to manage their drug safety operations. Okay, so now since I just told you that our uh, Argus safety is being used by companies to manage their drug safety operations. So first of all, what does drug safety operation mean? So inside drug safety department, you have various sub department. For example, uh, the biggest department is case processing. And after that, you have expedited reporting. And apart from these two departments, you have a couple of other departments as well. For example, you have periodic reporting and then you have signal detection department as well. Okay, so now uh, like the last two departments that is signal detection and periodic reporting, well, they don't require Argus safety, you know, that much. So Argus safety is prominently being used for case processing and expedited reporting activities. Okay, so in our training program, you will notice that we are giving uh, most of our time and attention to these two activities, case processing and expedited reporting. Okay, and the reason for that is most of the entry level jobs that you have, they are for case processing only. Okay, so if you will go to the pharmacovigilance job profiles, around 80 to 85 percent of the jobs, they are for case processing only. So case processing is the foundation of drug safety. Okay, so we receive cases and the information that we receive in those cases is being used for further drug safety activities. For example, those cases are used for periodic reporting activities. Then those same cases are used for signal detection activities as well. So basically case processing is the foundation of drug safety. And therefore most of the jobs that you will see, they are for case processing activities only. For other sub departments, you need some experience in case processing. And after that, you can go for those positions. Okay, so this is about um, our Oracle Argus safety main functions. So since I've just told you that case processing is the main part of our training program, well, you will see like, you know, if we have 12 classes, so 11 classes are going to be for case processing only. So case processing is basically the backbone of our training program. So in our classes, uh, like you will learn about case processing, like how to enter information in all the fields, how to do Medra coding, how to write case narratives, how to do product coding, so this is something that you will learn in uh, Argus safety classes. Okay, so now like I, I would just like to show you one document which will explain you in detail what actually do we do in case processing. Okay, so let me share my screen. So I hope you can see my screen. It's a Word document. So uh, like these are the activities that we do in case processing. So these are the case processing steps. So the first step in case processing is validity assessment. So anyone here having any idea like what is validity assessment? What can we possibly do in validity assessment? Checking for the minimum criteria or satisfying the minimum criteria for uh, working in the case. So what are those criteria? Uh, it's for a reporter, um, patient, uh, suspect product, and uh, adverse event. Yeah, so correct. So uh, like to consider your case as a valid case, you should have four criteria, and those four criteria are an identifiable patient, identifiable reporter, a company suspect product and an adverse 